Hey, 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 pro nerds, welcome back to another interview from the Long uh, Front Range Film Festival at Longmont, Colorado. And uh, the words, they're too hard. So it's a good thing I'm sitting here doing an interview with you, Sid Smith, filmmaker for Peaches. How's it going, Sid? I'm doing well. How are you? I am doing fantastic. Wonderful day in Longmont, as always. Are you from Longmont? I was starting to ask you before you <laughs> pressured us to start the interview. Uh, you said you're a local fil filmmaker. Local to Longmont or local to Denver area? Um, so I grew up in a small town that's like 20 minutes east of here, a little town called Frederick. Um, but so Longmont was the biggest, or not the biggest, excuse me, the nearest actual city to the to my hometown. So it was like if you wanted anything beyond like groceries, you had to come here. So I've been to Longmont a lot growing up and grow up here, but it was close enough. It was a small enough town that you referred to Longmont as a city. Yeah. So that means that's no, a small, small town. I, I have gotten bullied for that one before being like, wow, this is a city. And it's this like, is... oh. All right. All right. Oh. I'm just, I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> no, I like fine. to tease Longmont, but we're also talking Peaches, mm -hmm. your film. What is Peaches? So Peaches was my senior film uh, in, in college. Um, I went to school in Grand Junction, Colorado, which is also a place I call a city and then get made fun of for calling yeah. it a city. Um, but I wrote the film, uh, yeah, wrote the script in school and then shot it with a bunch of my classmates who also went to school there. Um, it was, was for a class, which is a lot of fun, um, being able to work together and collaborate with my fellow students uh, to make something, like an actual film, because the program is very small uh, at CMU, at Colorado Mesa University, uh, but the professors there are great, and they have been trying to overhaul the old program to give the students like opportunities to make actual films. Mm -hmm. um, so I was the second the second class that were able to make a short film as part of their senior project. Okay. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of the, or almost all of the film was shot in Grand Junction, save for a small portion which was shot in Utah. So it was all shot uh, in Western Colorado and Utah. Um, and a lot of it was inspired by what we had to work with because we didn't have a budget for sets or a lot of props or any special effects. It was like, what's something we can effectively tell what is there a lot of in Grand Junction that we can use and there's a lot of desert in Grand right. Junction. I was actually thinking so Peaches is a post-apocalyptic type setting mm -hmm. is what it seems and I feel like Grand Junction would lend very well it, to that scenery. It does there's a lot of uh there's one place that we shot the the opening scene from and you can see like where there are um, some mobile homes and trucks and it's kind of dubious whether or not they are inhabited like when we were filming, it's like, I really hope no one lives out here, but I have no idea if anyone was living out there. Right. Um, yeah. Awesome. I didn't even think about it that way too. <laughs> that type of scenery as well. But I was thinking even the landscapes oh. and the, I mean, the, what would you call them? The mesas and everything mm -hmm. like that. Fantastic. So this is obviously then, I mean, I'm making the assumption kind of based on what you said, your first film. Yes, Peaches was my first, first completed film. Completed film, I guess. I mean, mm -hmm. you, I, you could have made... Did you ever see that cartoon, Home Movies? No? No. Okay, I'm, never mind. Unfortunately, Never no. mind then. Anyways, I was thinking, kids making movies, and then, you know, there's tons of movies there. But anyways, now I'm rambling. Point being, first one, you got to make it students. What did this now... I think it was really important, uh, some of the things you said, because is this now made you say, the inspiration I got from my professors, working with students, doing this... I'm ready to go make more. Are you ready to just storm on the scene or are you kind of like, I did it. Give me a room to breathe. Well, so it's a little, it's a little funny. I think it's funny anyway. So we filmed Peaches. It took us a semester to do it. So we only had about five months, I think, to from beginning to end of pre-production, production and post-production. So we finished filming, editing Peaches beginning of May of 2021, 20, I had to think of the year. Um, I graduated end of May 2021. Uh, first day of June, myself and a group of friends, not, not classmates, but just other filmmaker friends I had made, um, we decided that we were going to shoot a feature over the course of a week in a cabin that my uncle owns. Um, so it was kind of like, finish peaches, graduate school, film a feature film. And now we've been working on that feature. Um, but in the meantime, I've uh, not written any new 
uh, projects, but I've helped my filmmaker friends with a couple other projects in the meantime. I, I think immediately filming a feature after graduating answers the question. You hit that ground <laughs> running. You were ready to move forward and make more movies. I love filmmaking. It's yeah. so much fun. It's such an undertaking. It's so much hard work, but it's such a rewarding experience that I have a hard time like not thinking about what I want to do next. Even if I don't do something for several months because I'm busy with like real life, finding a day job, mm. uh, whatever adult stuff I have to do. It's like, I still get really excited when I'm given the opportunity. Wait, are you telling me there's not enough income and in, uh, independent filmmaking to, that you have to find a day? I'm just kidding. Everybody oh, shocker. Project. <laughs> anyways, sorry. Sorry no, to bring, okay. it brought up a sore subject that I even hurt my own feelings no, I there. Like, Gosh. Uh... Um, anyways, uh, but no, that sounds all incredible. And, I, it made me really think of a question that I wanted to ask you. You said it's so rewarding. It's what is, what is it rewarding to you? Is it the creative process? Is it the idea of having your own thing out in the world? Is it the idea of working with others or is it like what piece of it? Or is it all the pieces that I, make it rewarding? I think it's kind of a package, like a package deal. Like the process of coming up with an idea is a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoy like going through concepts. I enjoy brainstorming. Um, I love discussing ideas with my friends who are also creatives. Um, and then actually being on set is always a lot of fun. Like even if we were up until like, oh my gosh, like five in the morning for our feature because right. we just had to get it done. And it, even though we were up at like five in the morning to film stuff, it was still a lot of fun. It was hard work, but it was fun. And then seeing that thing be put together through the editing process and then finally seeing like your finished product of like I made this or I helped with this it's such a like powerful and awesome feeling I it's so hard to describe but that sensation of I've created something mm -hmm. it, it's awesome and I I don't know I'm like it's almost addictive which maybe is not a good thing no, to call it's, it but it's, it's kind great. of addictive it's like a, an adrenaline rush almost everything you're it. saying right now tells me we have not seen the end of Sid Smith it no. tells me we're going to see a lot more films from you so I think all of that is great even the word addictive there on it too <laughs> listen if all of us are addicted to something it might as well be something that's creative and putting something back into the world right mm -hmm. fun little spin on there anyways we're getting I don't want to we've spent a lot of time talking about that and that's fantastic and I am excited and I do want to know more about the feature but I also want to talk peaches we've talked we've basically said grand junction student project post-apocalyptic but what does that all mean what is it about like what do you mean <laughs> post-apocalyptic short film here give us just a little taste of what that taste. film's about well I'll, I'll give a little bit of context and maybe that will help inform kind of the rest of it but i wrote the film uh in early 2021 i would say probably f february or march was when i wrote the script which uh, we're a year into the pandemic. A lot of my class, almost all my classes were affected by it. Mm. A lot of my classes, uh, only met once a week with the rest of our class meetings being online. Um, some of my classes were straight up split in half. So I only saw half of my classmates for an entire semester, people who I had previously been in school with for several years at that point. So it was, it was lonely. And I wanted to sort of get that emotion i wanted to capture that emotion and of that like loneliness of that distance of missing the people you used to see so often um and and so that was kind of what informed sort of the the emotions that were put into peaches the post-apocalyptic was just kind of like eh, it's a we live in grand junction like what's a setting that that works for for or what's a fictional setting that works for this real life setting and post-apocalyptic was just kind of the one that helped the most mm -hmm. i don't know it's kind of hard to explain it just kind of all came together um and i feel like seeing the film it might make more sense well we gotta watch it so is there any way people can find it yet or are they still waiting to get it out into the world is it so oh. i'm still entering it into festivals okay that's such it, yep. as this one um and while I don't believe the Front Range Film Festival had a rule about not having it posted online, but a lot of festivals oh, have do. rules about having it publicly uh, distributed beforehand. I do have a trailer up on my YouTube channel and on my website. Um, Where do they find that? My website is sidmsmith.com. Um, my YouTube channel is Sid Smith. I think I have eight subscribers. And it's S-Y-D. S-Y-D. M-Smith.com. Yep. Okay. 
and then Sid Smith on YouTube. And of course, we'll link that everywhere in the interview. <laughs> I do, before we do wrap, I do want to bring up, you brought up one great thing. I think we've done interviews at film festivals for seven, eight years now at this point. And that's something we haven't really talked on is a lot of those festivals make you hold it back. So definitely not only here, but any of the films you're seeing us interview about, if you can't find it online, keep following these filmmakers, keep encouraging them. The films will eventually get out there. I promise them they're not purposely hiding it from you. They just want to make sure it gets out there on the circuit. But all right, SidhamSmith.com, Sid Smith on YouTube. Peaches is the film. It's a pleasure chatting with you. I think it's showing in the next block. So we're going to wrap, get all that information to our fans. Not only check her out, but also check us out on YouTube, social media, wherever you are online. You can find us. We're Project Nerd. I mean, you already found us if you're watching this, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, that's it for this interview from the Front Range Film Festival. Until next time, nerds. Nerds.